So what we have here is a perfect example and illustration of ice flow. We're at the, at the margin of the Kalkaya ice cap. I'm going to go up a bit. So we have oh, at least 50, 60, 80 feet of ice above us. And the ice is flowing across these boulders here. And you can see how it forms these overhanging roofs. You know, where, the, uh, where the ice is sort of continuing to flow. And let me just pan to the right. Uh, try to get in there a little bit to show you this a little bit better. So let's see how difficult for me to see on the screen here. But what you can see here beautifully is the ice flowing towards you, scraping against the bedrock, uh, ripping off little dirt particles that are still embedded in the ice. If you pan to the right, uh, to the left, see the same thing, right? And right here at the edge. Got some icicles forming, which is pretty cool. So if we go over, same story continues, right? So the ice is if you were shooting out, flowing out across uh, across this across these boulders, across this bedrock maybe, and creating these overhangs, right? Scraping against the rock, ripping off little dirt particles that are embedded into the ice. And you can trace them to here. Got some icicles forming. Just a perfect example, illustration that ice, even though it appears to be stagnant, is actually flowing, molding itself to the underlying bedrock. In this case, flowing towards us, scraping the rock that gives you striations. At the same time, also ripping off little dirt particles whoa, shoot. Uh, that are then embedded into the ice. So here we are underneath. I'm not sure if this is the smallest thing I've ever done, but it's definitely one of the coolest things I've ever done. Right underneath the ice here, flowing kind of from left to right. There's maybe 50, 60 feet of ice above me. Absolutely cool. You can see glacial erosion at work. Let's look outside. Just cool across this lake here. And then back around. So that was ice flow of the Kakaya ice cap.